Hello, I'm Richard from GenkiJapan.net and uh, I've had quite a lot of people asking me uh, what's the best way to learn the kanji. So these are the Chinese characters that we use to write a lot of Japanese words. Uh, and I found a really cool new way, a new brilliant new resource for learning kanji, which I'll introduce in just a moment. Uh, but before you start the kanji, you need to do the other two uh, Japanese sort of alphabets called katakana and hiragana. And um, if you head over to the GenkiJapan.net website, we have uh, this chart here where you can just move over and uh, you can hear how they're pronounced. Um, some other things that we've uh, also got on there uh, to make it a little bit easier to learn the hiragana are some games uh, like this one here, uh, where you just uh, do a matching pairs type thing. You just click on the kana, you hear it, and uh, you try and find a matching pair. Oh, Kit, I've had Kit. Where's Kit? Oh, no, it's not, it's not it's there, isn't it? Kit. Kit. See that one? Kit. Yay! Anyway, that sort of thing. Uh, we've also got um, hiragana uh, songs as well and a katakana song. Okay, which just makes it a lot easier to learn. So there you go. Um, but then when it comes to the kanji, it's, it's, a, lot, it's, a, lot more, it's a lot more complicated is the kanji. Um, now, up until now, the, the best recommendation I've given people is just to get a book from Amazon, any old kanji book, um, and just practice writing out the first 100 kanji. Uh, and it, it's pretty boring. I've got a funky new way of doing it that I'll tell you in a minute, but for the, but for the moment, just get, a, just get a book and learn out the first 100 kanji. I did this, I spent every Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon just plowing through and reading the, and writing them out and writing all the kanji out a million times. The reason you do the first 100 is because what you'll find that later on is that a lot of the more complicated kanji are actually just made up of the first set of kanji. For example, let me just give you an example here. Uh, if I flip around to my computer. So we have, uh, this is the, the symbol for big, this is dai or o as in or key, and it's a dude with his uh, arms outstretched. Yes, yeah? so that's symbol for big, big, strong dude. Yeah, um, and then we've got this symbol here, which is a symbol for a sheep. Uh, so it's got yeah, the horns on the top. Sort of looks like a sheep's face. Yeah, just bear with me. Anyway, so if you combine these together, if you combine big with sheep, so there's big on the bottom, sheep on the top. You end up with the Japanese symbol for beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, well, it's never a dull moment learning Japanese, is there? So big and sheep, if you learn the, those two kanji, then you, when you see the word beautiful, it might look really complicated at first, but when you realize it's just made up of other kanji, it's a lot easier to learn, okay? And you can put little stories to go with that. Now, as I say, until now, I've just recommended you go to Amazon, get the most boring book out ever, um, and just uh, plow through them. But there's a better way of doing it. I've just found this brilliant new website, uh, which is called Manga University. And it's actually at howtodrawmanga.com. Uh, if you look on the side here, I've got, I've got a link to it there. So Manga University. Now, this is actually a site for learning how to draw manga. And they've got some really cool, funky stuff on there. Um, but what I want to show you today is down here. Oh, so it won't focus in properly. But they have this funky thing called Kanji de Manga. Uh, I'm sure that should actually be the way around. It should be manga de kanji, but uh, never mind. And what they're doing is they've taken a boring uh, kanji textbook uh, and, text and worksheets things, but they've just jazzed them up by showing the meanings with funky manga style stuff. So it's just manga uh, pictures and also phrases that you'd actually get in your average sort of manga style thing here. Um, a, bit, a little difficult to focus in here, but uh, so you've got the word tama there, that's just ball. Uh, you know, medama and things like that. So you see it a lot in Pokemon, obviously. And they've got examples there. Another example they've got on their site is uh, this one here, which is Dan. Uh, and you can see what I was talking about before, because this is made up of uh, lots of uh, little ones there, a mouth at the bottom, and then two lots of fire on the right-hand side there. So it looks, though it looks complicated, if you start with the first 100 and build your way up, um, you get really, you, you know, get really good, and it's easy to pick them out. It's a lot easier. When people say you have to learn 4,000 of them, or 2,000 of them for Japanese, it is, uh, then you don't really have to learn 2,000 because a lot of them just made up the same. So, but anyway, go to uh, the manga, um, the Kanji Day manga site at the Manga University and download the books. They're about nine dollars ninety nine each, I think, for the Kanji books, which is a bit of a bargain. Highly recommend it because it's fun. And the best thing is as well is that um, you know the readings change your Japanese. You don't always read them in the same way. Like you know, so this is this is Tama. It can be read Dama. It can be read in other ways as well. Um, but of course they've got the little manga jobbers there. Uh, then it's uh, a lot easier to pick out the meanings and to remember it a lot easy. So that's my hint for the day. If you want to learn kanji, check out uh, mangauniversity.com for some brilliant kanji stuff. And of course, if you want to learn the kana, katakana, or hiragana, check out my site, which is Genki Japan. 
www.kanjiwebsite.net. Okay, I'm Richard and I'll see you later. If you've got any top tips for learning kanji, put them in the comments below. If you've got any other questions about learning Japanese, uh, send them, put them in the comments or send me an email and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Good luck with everything. Uh, keep confident, enjoy yourselves and uh, be Genki. See you later.